New tonight, his position was being challenged, but in a surprising move today, the longtime leader of the Michigan Democrats withdrew from the race for party chairman. Mark Brewer, who was the longest standing state Democratic leader in the nation, made the announcement at the state Democratic Party convention today in Detroit. Brewer says he wishes his challenger, Lon Johnson, all the best. Johnson was officially elected as party chairman shortly after Brewer's concession. Now, Brewer has been uh, fighting an uphill climb to keep his seat after unions in Michigan's Democratic congressional delegation backed Johnson. 24 Hour New Heights political reporter Rick Alvin joins us now on the phone with a look at what this all means for us. Rick? Well, Larry, this is obviously a very big shape up, uh, shake up for the Michigan Democratic Party because, as you say, Mark Brewer has been in charge of the party for 18 years, and that goes back a long time. A lot of presidential elections that have been won while he was at the head of the party. Michigan, for a time, uh, Democrats for a time, took over the House of Representatives, as you will recall. So he had, has had some success. He saw uh, Senator Stabenow take over the seat from Spence Abraham during the time that he was party chairman. So there were a lot of accomplishments for Michigan Democrats while Mark Brewer was the chairman. But fast forward to this last election cycle and the election cycle before. If you go back to 2010, 2012, it has not been a good cycle for Democrats, despite the fact that President Obama won overwhelmingly here in the state. He won re-election. But when you look at the State House of Representatives, Democrats made some inroads, but Republicans are still in charge of that. Two years before that, Republicans won everything in sight from the Supreme Court to the Senate to the House, the governor's race. And again, Supreme Court races went badly for Democrats in 2012. Then with one of the Democratic Supreme Court justices having uh, to resign under this speculation and cloud and ultimate uh, federal uh, charges going for uh, uh, the uh, Supreme Court justice pathway. All of that built up, but it really comes back to Prop 2. Prop 2 was that proposition that would have put collective bargaining into the Constitution, and when that failed so badly in 2012, the blame had to go somewhere, and rightly or wrongly, a lot of people, a lot of unions started blaming Mark Brewer, saying that he didn't do enough to, to work for that proposition, which ultimately some believe led to the right to work law being passed in the state. So Democrats have a lot of rebuilding to do within the party. It was an ugly fight, even though Brewer withdrew. There was some yelling. There was some really hard feelings from some elected officials. So Democrats now have to regroup and rebuild. And it's going to be interesting to see what Lon Johnson does as party chairman. There's a lot of speculation. He himself may want to run for office. So it's going to be interesting to see if he's going to be able to do that and be party chairman. We'll just have to wait and see. But for tonight, it's a uh, new page for Michigan Democrats. And I would expect uh, that it will not be long before we see a lot more of Lon Johnson and get an idea of what his leadership style will be for Michigan Democrats. 24-hour news 